talking about sharks, there are more than 500 different species of sharks. Most of the research that we're doing here at Flinders University is based on the anthropogenic effects on sharks and race populations. So what I mean is the human impact that we might have on, on sharks. In general, they're much more vulnerable to other species. So, for example, some shark species would only produce two pups every two years, which is very, very slow. So, because of that, they cannot really withstand that much fishing pressure. And there are fisheries on, sh on sharks that can be done sustainably, uh, but it has to be managed properly. Uh, but there are also examples of fisheries that is, that is unsustainable for sharks. So, we've done some work where we tested the efficiency of the shark shield, which is an electric deterrent that is already commercially available. But up to our work, there hadn't any, there hadn't been any res independent research done testing that. Even though many organisations in South Australia uh, is enforcing the use of the shark shield and, and found that it, the shark shield does have an effect, but it didn't um, stop wild sharks from the ability to consume a bait. Uh, the bait being two meters of the shark shield. So there is now. Uh, additional work that we are doing here in collaboration with the University of Western Australia where we looked at what difference would it make if the bait was a bit closer to the, sh to, uh, to the shark shield and to the, to the electrodes. It's not all dangerous, we're obviously unsure to do it in a very safe, a safe manner and it is one of these charismatic megafauna that actually attract a lot of interest from the media and also from the students. So in a way it makes our job a bit, a bit easier. As you grow as a, as a scientist and as a marine biologist you become more and more interested in the, the overall question and the broader question and the analysis of the data more so than just spending time on the book but it's still fun as well.